Before we get into the video, I do have some giveaway information for you fellows. We're going to be giving away one $25 bond and one Heroic Mystery Box to two lucky winners. All you have to do to enter is to like the video, comment your in-game name, and subscribe to the channel, and you are good to go. With that being said, let's get started. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh, I'm panicking! Yeah. Oh my god, he's a lot faster now! Oh man, okay, hang on, whoa, relax! Uh, Alright, so if you don't bring Sage's axe, you do have to full- Hello? It's the next day, and I have 563 enhanced keys. <laughs> oh, big stretch. I'm opening these keys, and you cannot stop me. <gasps> oh, actually, we got a heart. Finally, we get a heart, dude. It's been like, what, how many keys? 1,700 keys for our first heart? Good lord, I'll explain why it's important in a second. They just added an overload heart into the alchemy table, and to my understanding, not only is the boost from the overload heart higher, but you also don't take the 50 damage you would normally take from drinking an overload. But not only does the overload heart require a 100 million GP cash stack to attempt, oh my god. You also need to create the Omni Heart, which requires all three of the previous superior hearts. I'm gonna save us about four minutes of key opening clips because I respect both your time and my own. I ended up taking a few days to train my magic to Prestige 7, level 126, and in doing so, I managed to get a lot of PVM tokens, crystal keys, etc. So I took the time to buy key halves from the PVM shop, put them together, smith them into enhanced crystal keys, and pop those bad boys open. I got four $1 bonds and an uncut zenite. Yeah. Needless to say, I had come to the conclusion that this account's RNG is absolutely cooked in the worst possible way. At least, that's what I thought until I decided to grind one final item before heading to raids. Uh, okay. One, why did that drop as an item? <laughs> Two, that's another pet in the log, fellas. That's nice to see. I don't think it's stronger than Corp, so uh, definitely not going to be replacing Corp. Very cool, very nice, but please give me my magic fang. Yes! Yeah, 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 I know, that's what I'm talking about, dude. The magic fang is mine! <laughs> oh, very nice, dude. What a beautiful drop. See ya later, Zolra. What are you doing, Stepworm? All we have to do now is head back to Krill for two more Zamorak components, and we finally have our Toxic Staff of the Dead. I'll explain everything from there, just trust the process. One component down, one to go, and at 300 KC too. Clean. One eternity later. Ah, oh, finally, man. This took like more than 100 KC to get one Zamorak component from Krill, bro. I, th I really thought we were going to be in and out in 20 minutes. No, no, it's been closer to like an hour and a half. This was dumb. It'll all be worth it in the end, though. Just like I said, trust the process. First things first, we succeed our Staff of the Dead on the first try because we are not a loser. And then finally, at long last, we create the Toxic Staff of the Dead on our first try because, again, not a loser. Now look at this stat difference. 28 extra magic attack bonus and 76 extra magic strength bonus. Whilst it is two ticks slower than the Master Wand, let me explain why that's not an issue, but actually an advantage. If you're a mage, you know of the perk Double Cast, which will half the speed of any magic weapon you use. So with this perk unlocked, a Master Wand would have a 2 tick attack speed, whilst a Toxic Staff of the Dead would have a 3 tick attack speed. Another very useful perk we rely on would be Draining Strikes, which sadly in the past has received a nerf. At tier 5, it does have a 100% chance to heal you for 10% of whatever you hit, but it has a 3 tick cooldown. Now what extremely strong weapon do we know of with double cast that has a 3 tick attack speed? Hmm. To put this in simple terms, the toxic staff is just better. Not only does it have a much higher max hit and is much more accurate, but actually it's also going to heal you much more often. Here's an example. In 30 game ticks, a master wand with draining strikes is going to proc the heal 8 times. Whilst on the other hand, a toxic staff with draining strikes will heal you 10 times in 30 game ticks. And for much higher amounts. So now, until we get our Kodai insignia from raids, we can peacefully and quietly retire our master wand. As promised in the previous video, it is finally time to dip our toes into the Olympian raids. Uh, on the beta. And yeah, 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 I can hear a lot of you boo-hooing already, but brother, this is not a joke. 
I've spent the last month and a half gathering stats and items just to try this. You think I'm going in blind? You think I'm just gonna wing it? No. <laughs> I may be dumb, but I am NOT a moron. I've copied the main stats I plan to crutch on from the main game, which would be 126 HP, 110 defense, 108 prayer, and 125 magic. You know what? That's gonna be 126 before we start the raids anyway, so let's just put it at 126. The inventory looks, uh, well, it's something. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I have absolutely zero knowledge of this raid to try to milk up a video for you because, well, I'm not gonna lie, that's kinda cringe. I enjoy supporting smaller content creators on the server, so I tune into their streams, and oftentimes they are streaming the Olympian raids. And from that, I've learned a few things to do here and there, but nothing in depth. This is personally going to be our very first raid, and I am very... Oh, I'm not scared now that I'm on the beta, but in general, I'm a little nervous. Let's go ahead and start the raid. Already, first glance, the map, mwah, gorgeous, beautiful, wonderful, stunning. I am on the wrong spellbook. Off to a great start. Okay, then. All right, round two. If this were the main game, we'd already be down 400,000 GP. Let's talk to this strapping fellow. There's no risk, and I'm still nervous. Is that dumb? I am just going to be spamming Ice Barrage because I see there's a lot of AoE in this raid, so I figure maybe if we just stay on Ice Barrage instead of Blitz, we're just going to catch everything, dude. Look at that! They can't go anywhere! This is perfect! As long as we can HP sustain like this, I am in the clear for this wave. Making absolute light work of these orbs, too. Oh my god, the constant hundreds, man. I just... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we're fine. Really thought they got away from me there. Okay, from what I'm seeing, Apollo will switch between a range and a magic attack, which is pretty discernible. If he's gonna use mage, he'll shoot a fireball into the air, and if he's gonna use range, well, brace yourself, he'll shoot an arrow in the air. I know, crazy distinction, I know. Right, so at this point, I would be sage axing, but I can't because, uh, you know, I didn't bring it. All right, so if you don't bring sage's axe, you do have to fo- Hello? So that's what happens when you let the orbs get to the altars. We, uh, will definitely stay on top of that in the live game because that is an insta-death. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, we're learning, we're adapting. I need to grab my Sage's Axe and then we should be fine. If you don't bring a Sage's Axe, pretty much it looks like you have to kill those healers. And I don't want to allocate that kind of time, so we are just going to use the Sage's Axe. All right, round three, one death and 600k GP later. Let's get this done. There we go, dude. Okay, Apollo in two attempts. Nice, I'm getting it. All right, next room, dude. We've got some Olympian Guardians. I'm pretty sure this is just an AoE clear room to go into the next boss, so it should be pretty simple and pretty quick. All right, when I was watching fellas do this one, this one definitely looked a little more uh, confusing. There was just a lot more going on for sure. I heard you can dodge these waves like Queen Black Dragon, and you can, easy. All right, so the only thing I know about this room is that you have to dodge the waves, and whenever you see the little ice stuff around you, you want to move. Oh my God, what am I doing? Oh, I'm panicking, Grr! I'm getting a phone call in the middle of a wave. Stop! I'm actually learning raids and you've interrupted me. So how how are we going to how are we going to fix this? You're going to get over it. That's not the attitude I need. Sorry, sucks to suck. That okay. We'll talk about this when you get home. I don't know what to think of that room. It was a little confusing. I wasn't really sure what to be super wary of, but uh, oh my god. One, two, three, four. Is that five vanguards? Wait, did I need to bring another style? Did I mess up? Whoa, you're scary. Hello, what do I pray on you? Oh, okay, so the initial flames don't hurt you, but the flames he summons after, if you're still in that area, then it'll hurt you. Gotcha, okay. I'm learning, I'm learning. All right, so this guy is just a simple little demi-boss as well. No problem. I'm feeling a lot better about this now that I'm on the beta doing this, by the way. And now comes the scary boy, Mr. Slammy Slam, Mr. Slang that thing, Mr. Kathunk my badunk. From what I've seen on other people's streams, he looks like a lot of fun, but he also seems very, very scary. You dare venture into my fiery domain, mortals? We didn't come here for idle chatter, Hephaestus. We came here to end your reign of terror. I am so sorry.
All right, let's send it. Uh, don't hurt me, please. Stomps on the ground, drops a rock, stand behind the rock, and you are safe. I wonder if that's an insta-kill mechanic if you aren't behind the rock, though. I might have to test it during this video for science. Whoa! Ding! Ding! Ow. Okay, that's a 30. Definitely not as much damage as I thought it would do, but uh, still very scary. Okay, 54. Oh my god, hang on. Oh, okay, he summons little uh, little vanguards during this. I guess that makes sense. It also adds a little bit of chaoticness to the fight. Ow! And now I'm sitting here chipping this vanguard away with a two tick zero stat weapon. Very, very cool. Oh my god, he's a lot faster now. Oh man, okay, hang on. Whoa, relax, uh, relax. Uh. And we have completed our first Olympian raid, dude. Holy moly. It did take three attempts. One attempt, I forgot spell books, but uh, whatever, dude. A win is a win and I will take it. No purple chest on the beta, thank God, because I would have been very, very sad. 106 dragon bones, two dragon swords, and 10 Olympian ore. That's not bad at all. What is this? Okay, so having experienced this on the beta, I am feeling much better about doing this live. I could even solo, actually. I won't even need a team. I mean, I could use a team, but I don't, like, need a team. You know what I mean? As always, thank you so much for watching the video, fellas. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is to like the video, comment your in-game name, and subscribe to the channel, and you are good to go. And with that being said, I will see you in the next episode on the live server at Raids on the Permadeath Hardcore. Hey Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your short hair. Do you even care? You got a bad attitude, mix it with a bunch of dudes, and all you're left with is a menacing stare. Wash that taste out your mouth, little princess. How you gonna tell me that your life is worth?